What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online glitch video and we're working on some modded outfits today. Now, I apologize for not uploading the past couple days. Just took a little bit of a break. That's always good, but I am back and I'm back with a good video to show you guys how to do male modded outfits with this transfer glitch and also how to actually merge. A lot of people were asking how to merge race gloves and stuff like that. With this method, you could do race gloves, race boots, Tron shoes, whatever you want. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? You see this outfit? We're gonna be making something like this, all right? Well, that exactly. So apart from that, uh, what I'm gonna teach you is also a little trick because remember, you lose all of your outfits on your main character. In this case, it's gonna be our male character. I'm on another account. so. We're going to be losing all of our pre-made outfits on the male character. What I would recommend, if you have at least one outfit that you really like, equip that and have it being worn before you go to switch to your female to start the glitch. Okay, and you're going to see why. But uh, yeah, the only other thing you really need on your male character, I'd recommend buying an LCD earpiece. You're going to see why. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind, guys, remember, we're deleting our second character in this glitch. Make sure you bank all of your cash so you don't lose any of it. Like I said, all, all pre-saved outfits on your main character will be lost unless you just equip the, the one that you really want to wear. And uh, yeah, so if you want, look at my older video, you know, the one that I made uh, two days ago. I explain a lot more there and all the warnings and stuff, but be warned, you know, this glitch can work. It can, I don't know, people are complaining it doesn't work. I've gotten it to work every time. Anyways, here we go. So I've done what I need to do on the male outfit or on the male character. Now I'm on the female. This is the first outfit we're creating. Okay, so make sure you go to the boots and you want to pick these. These are the rubberized boots, the aqua camo trails. These are merge boots. We're going to be using these to merge race gloves. Okay, this is the merge component. Now, if some of you might find that confusing. You're going to see what I mean later. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and go to the leather pants and you want to put these on the black rib pants These are gonna give us those cool yellow, you know Tron pants. All right This is that yellow Tron outfit that you just saw we're making two outfits though So next what you want to do is go over to the tops go to the leather jackets put on this burgundy JC jacket And then the shirt under is under sports tops. I believe it's the all yellow. Yeah, there we go All yellow baseball tee. All right, so go ahead and throw that on now, once you've done that, go over to the accessories, and these are the merge gloves, okay? You want to go down to gloves and put on the light woodland tactical gloves. This is how you get race gloves, okay? You want to put this component on to get race gloves, okay? Now, once you've done that, we're going to be working on the top, you know, or the head, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, so now put on these, the tortoiseshell casuals. These are the casual glasses. Throw those on. Then what you want to do is get over to the hat section and we're going to be putting on this all black forward cap. Okay, so hit right D-pad, go over to caps forward and then the black cap. All right. So once you've gotten the black cap on, we're going to be heading over to Vespucci Beach to actually put on this mask. Okay, this is one of those ski masks. It's the, uh, the yellow bigness ski mask. So go ahead and head over to ski mask and the yellow bigness face ski mask is what you want. Save this in slot one. Okay, I'm gonna say it right here too on the screen. You want to save this outfit in slot one All right, you're gonna see why just save it in slot one and you'll see what I mean Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is making the second outfit the second outfit uh, that we're that we need the components on the female for we're gonna be starting at the shoes go to the sports shoes put on the blue sports shoes Okay, once you got the blue sports shoes on the, this is the checkerboard outfit by the way uh, now, this one didn't come out exactly like I wanted it to. Put on the black shorts. This is going to actually give us the really short shorts um, on the checkerboard components, but it's okay, guys. This isn't like 100% follow what I'm doing. You guys have the component list down there made by X Tiffy. You know, follow that, all right? Red two-tone tank, that's going to give us an actual uh, jacket, a checkerboard jacket, like a suit jacket and stuff with a vest underneath and everything. Okay, so now when we go over to the glove section, you want to go to the accessories, go to gloves, light wooden tactical gloves again. We're going to be merging race gloves on this outfit, okay? We're going to be putting black race gloves on this outfit. Now, on the, on the head, what you want to do is put on the copper marbles. That's going to give us the actual checkerboard sunglasses, all right? They look really, really cool, so checkerboard sunglasses. Then on the hat section, go to the caps forward and the broker fitted cap is going to give us the checkerboard hat. All right. I believe it's the forward cap for the checkerboard hat. All right. So now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and save this in slot two. All right. And that's that's what you do for the female. OK, so save it in slot two. So as you can see right here, 
I actually named them. This is called Checkered. That one's called Yellow Fit. All right. Yellow Outfit and then Checkered. All right. So I even named them right here. That's going to transfer over to my male character. Okay. So once you've saved the outfits, you're good to go. Go ahead and make sure you bank your cash. Go ahead and press pause online and head over to Creator. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit this glitch. Now, Guys, make sure you follow my directions. People are saying they can't hit this. Guys, I've hit it 100% on th three different, you know, accounts. It works. You guys must be doing something wrong. Uh, go ahead and create a race, land race. Also, I will say, not all glitches work on every console or every account, all right? That's just how it goes. So, now just go ahead and fill in the information on all those red hazard signs. Remember, you, you can see me right now. I'm just typing random stuff, you know? And then if it tells you to take a picture, take a picture, all right? Just fill out all that stuff. Now, the really important thing, when you go over to number of laps, go to number of laps, you see right here, and then switch it over, or sorry, route type, switch it to point to point, and the maximum players just put it at two. All right, placement, you wanna go ahead and place a trigger. This is where the race will begin. So just put it somewhere on the road. Lobby camera, go ahead and take yourself another picture. Now go ahead and go to checkpoints, and this is where you'll put the start of the race, and then go ahead and put like six or seven checkpoints. You wanna get up to about 0.7 miles, okay? Look at the bottom right. When I get to 0.65 miles, it's actually good, but 0.7 miles is what I recommend. Go ahead and back out of that menu and then go to test, all right? And we're just gonna simply test the race. Now, I'm just gonna fast forward through this right here, especially because I made a really embarrassing crash and I couldn't get up at that point, so. Once you've completed the race, you'll be on this menu. Just hit A or X to continue or just to hit OK. Now, once we're there, you want to go ahead and immediately just press pause, go to online, go to choose character. OK, just make sure you're following exactly what I'm doing. And uh, you guys, you should have no problem hitting this. All right. People are hitting this 100 percent. Some people say they can't hit it at all. It makes no sense to me. It's the easiest transfer glitch we've ever had. So see that red joggers outfit? I'm wearing that because I don't want to lose it on my mail. But right now is where we're deleting a character. We're actually going to delete the female. So that's when you want to press X on Xbox or square on PlayStation to actually delete. Then to confirm the delete, you actually have to type it in. All right. So we're deleting our female character so that we can make the male outfits on the uh, or the modded outfits on the male. So once this law loads up and we're good to go, we're going to spawn back. It's going to give you a random like brand new female right there. But at this point, all you want to do is press B on Xbox and that would be circle on PlayStation. And that's going to return us to Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, in story mode. All right. So as you can see right here, we're just going right back to story mode. Once you're in story, press pause right away. Go to the online tab and go ahead and go to play GTA online invite only session. OK, so invite only session and we should spawn in now and we should have the transferred outfits now remember i said wear your outfit that you don't want to lose on the male character ahead of time you see i was wearing that so if you look the outfits transferred you see yellow fit checkered the two outfits transferred but look i'm still wearing this one right here so what you can do is i didn't want to lose this so check it out i can go and i can actually save this really quick right now and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to save it to an outfit slot and as you can see everything else is gone except for the outfits that i got from the female so you see my red joggers i saved them and as you saw right there in the first two slots how i have them saved that's how you wanted to save them on the female and that's how they'll show up on here yellow outfit first checkered outfit second okay but you see look i can't click on them you know why i can't click on them to see them that's because they got merge components you need to join crooked cop to actually get these to show and that's how we actually get these to merge this is how we begin merging so before you go into crooked cop you want to go to a clothing store if you don't own these already and you want to go to biker suits now we're going to be putting black gloves you see these black race gloves we're going to be putting those on the checkered outfit and we're going to be putting this yellow biker suit down there see that one right there we're going to be putting the gloves and the boots on that yellow outfit so first we're going to be doing the checkered outfit because it's the farthest one on the uh, on my save slots all right it's the farthest one now Go ahead and equip this outfit right here. I, you can go ahead and put it to last location, but remember, I want these black race gloves on the checkered outfit, and they're gonna move. It's so it's so hard to explain if you've never done it, but what's happening is I'm gonna merge these onto the first outfit, the yellow outfit, and then they're gonna move over to the checkered outfit, okay? But anyways, go to online, go ahead and go to the versus section, and then you're gonna see Crooked Cop right down here. That's when you wanna go ahead and start. Now, this glitch is basically all solo, except up to this point but you just need a random to join you you don't need a friend just sit here i've gotten randoms to join me all the time doing this something very important when you join crooked cop 
go ahead and go to clothing, set it to player owned. Very important. Okay, confirm the settings. And now auto invite, matchmaking, open, get somebody to join. I got BMX to join, but look, I got a random joining in too. Guys, just sit here for a while. You'll get a random to join you. Now, remember, I'm wearing the biker suit first, okay, as, as my current outfit. So check it out. Remember we put those uh, merge components on, the gloves and, and those boots and stuff like that? So right now, I'm going to be moving these black gloves over to one outfit and then onto the next one. So look, go to owned outfits, my current outfit, I'm gonna move it one to the right. So look, the black gloves are on the yellow outfit. Now move it one to the right again. Boom, now they're on the checkered outfit. So you see I got black gloves now on the checkered outfit. Remember I had the light woodland tactical gloves on there before. Now, the, because I had those on there, that's how you merge, guys. If you have that component on, you can merge stuff like that. So you see, it's not the greatest checkerboard outfit, but it's a simple tutorial showing you guys how to actually merge. The yellow outfit's way better, but as you can see, see guys, I got black gloves on my checkered outfit. I successfully merged them. I moved them over for, onto one outfit and then onto the next, okay? So at this point, uh, this method right here, you can actually just quit out. Okay, I'm going to show you two methods what to do at this point. So if you don't have an earpiece, all right, I recommend putting an earpiece on before you quit out the job. But if you don't have one, just quit out of the job. Immediately when you load back down, start up a Titan of a job as fast as you can. So you see, I didn't even, I had the biker suit on there. But look when I spawn into Titan. Boom, I'm wearing the checkered outfit. Okay, go ahead and go into ammunition and then you want to save the checkered outfit with the merged gloves that you just put on there. And then boom, see that? I had my checkered outfit with merged race gloves on there. Okay, and that was all because I forgot to buy the LCD earpiece. This time I'm not going to forget that. Okay, so I'm just showing you real quick. I'm quitting out of Titan of a job and you see that? I have the outfit perfectly fine. Okay, so like I recommend on your mail, buy the LCD earpiece before you actually start merging, okay? Before you go into Crooked Cop, just have an LCD earpiece on already, all right? So now we're gonna be merging these race gloves, the yellow race gloves and the yellow race boots on that yellow outfit. So we need to go ahead and start up Crooked Cop again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Versus, you know, online jobs, Versus, Crooked Cop. Make sure you set the clothing to player owned. Then go ahead and go to confirm settings and then you want to start inviting all the randoms. I got BMX to, you know, join in with me. You know, definitely big shout out to BMX for helping me out, man, as always. Now, what BMX is going to do, he's just going to sit there, all right? He can actually quit out and stuff and be perfectly fine when we're right there, okay? You just have to get into the, uh, the selection screen for the clothing. So check it out. My current outfit is the yellow race gloves and race boots. Go to your owned outfits. Just move one to the right. Boom. I just merged the race gloves and the race boots onto this outfit. This outfit came together really well, I'm not going to lie. So go ahead and ready up. And as you can see right here, so the race gloves and the race boots merged because I put on the, the merge component for gloves and boots. This one had the light woodland tactical gloves on it before from the female, and it had those aqua camel trail boots from the female as well. Those are called merge components. That's how you get cool things like race gloves, race boots, Tron shoes. You have to use that component. And look, you see, I got the yellow boots and the yellow gloves on here. So this outfit came together pretty well. You even have the Sprunk logos all over the Tron pants, all right? So this is what I recommend doing, having an LCD earpiece once you're in Crooked Cop. You wanna go ahead and go to style, then go to accessories. Uh, once you're on gear, one to the left, boom. You see how I put on the LCD earpiece? Now the outfit is fully equipped. When I go ahead and quit out of the job, I'm actually gonna spawn right into a session. And then look at that, I'm wearing the outfit. So now you simply just go over to the ammunition and you just save it, okay? You can just save the outfit just like this. So that's actually where you buy the LCD earpiece, by the way, at the gear section and ammunition. So just have that on your mail. It's a really good thing to have. So now I'm gonna save it over the yellow outfit slot and boom, that's how you merge guys, okay? That is a simple way to actually merge. Very, very simple way. It's gonna be confusing to you guys that have never merged before, but trust me, it's not a difficult concept, okay? Uh, BMX actually merges, to, he merges like eight outfits in a row. Like, it's crazy how many outfits he can actually do like that. I usually don't do that, but there's people that can merge all 20 outfits, you know, like back to back to back with just one transfer if you set it up right. So now I'm gonna show you just something else really cool if you wanna do with this yellow outfit. Put on a rebreather and that'll actually take off the, the headgear. Then once you've done that, save the outfit. So as you can see right here, I'm just saving the outfit. 
Now you want to go ahead and equip the Tron suit, all right, the yellow Tron suit. We're actually going to be putting that yellow Tron helmet on this outfit to make it just a bit more cool and just like sleek looking. So do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope, smash right on the D-pad, pull away, open up the interaction menu, and the uh, headgear should come off. Go to style, go to outfits, click on the yellow outfit, close the interaction menu and walk away. Boom. Yellow Tron helmet is glitched onto this outfit. Now just go down to your wardrobe again and save it. All right. And there you go, guys. We have made two pretty cool modded outfits, okay? Now, like I said, if you wanted to make more after this, you'd obviously have to, you know, re-merge. So when it comes to merging, guys, you want to you wanna just do one transfer. You want to actually set up all of your outfits, you know, on the female and then just transfer one time and actually just literally do Crooked Cop if you have to 20 times to actually merge all the outfits together. This is just an example of doing two, you know, right next to each other. But you can actually do all 20 outfits and you can do Crooked Cop 20 times, you know, in a row and actually get all your merge components ready to go and set so that, you know, it, you can easily do this and then you're good to go. You don't have to transfer anymore. All you need is one outfit transfer if you know what you're doing, okay? So I know a lot of you are going to be confused by this and have a lot of questions, but I've made it as simply as I possibly could. Two simple outfits. One of them came out awesome. Checkerboard didn't come out that great, but, you know, guys, look down at the components list and you will get more ideas on different components to put on the female okay but uh yeah so i think that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something nobody else has made a merge glitch or a merge tutorial on this outfit transfer glitch so i'm happy to be the first one to do that for you guys uh, make sure if you're brand new to the channel you hit that red subscribe button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers we only need like 900 more we are so close peace out everybody thank you so much for all the support i'm out Washed up.